This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome mm-hmm. to another episode. When did we start doing the love life? I think he, he evolved that. He evolved yeah, that. It's, it's, yeah, it's got every week it gets stronger and stronger. Yeah. So are you still hiding in your phone? I am not. Okay. I am not. The I conversation we were having had you in that phone. I was just, I, it did. It did. It did. That's good. It, it was rough. I had a rough day. Okay. You want to talk My about your day? car is on the fritz. Oh, man. Yeah. I got a jump from a very kind stranger. On Valentine's Day, I pulled in to Wait. get a Sunday, and my and I left my car on. I came back. I couldn't start my car, so I I am looking around like, dang, I need a jump and a kind, attractive stranger. Why does stranger. it sound like a music video? Because I'm I'm explaining it that way. So a kind, attractive stranger, very attractive, comes over and offers to give me a jump. He doesn't really know how to jump my car, but. I've learned to just let men kind of figure it out. Not on a Mercedes. Yeah, I know. I lo- I know that now. Your battery's in the back, right? It's not in the back, but it's under it's under some stuff. And so he was jumping something that wasn't the battery, right? And so he jumped my engine. <laughs> and so, yeah. So with German cars, especially luxury German cars, yeah. yeah. What kind of car did he have? He he had uh, Sophia, but. It, that wasn't the point. So he, so he was attractive. What's a Sophia? A Kia, a Kia. Oh, a Kia, Sophia. Yeah, is that, is that I think a it's car? A, yeah, it's Kia. It was something with okay. an S. Okay, yeah. So he um, jumped in, and then I was like, because he was cute, and I was like, well, and I said, can I give you something for it? You know, like, oh, some, some new pussy. <laughs> some money for <laughs> jumping it, and he was like, no, no, Happy Valentine's Day, and I was like, well, that was weird. He didn't even ask me my, for my number, but so the car started. The car started, but the entire panel, like radio, air, and heat, don't, wow. they're dead. Oh, he shorted. He blew a fuse. Oh, no, no. No, the, no, the fuses is... are fine. It's, it's, it's something shorted in the engine. Mm. Yeah. That's expensive. Well, okay. So now people know not to uh, <laughs> connect your Kia to a Mercedes. <laughs> Uh, well, I think you just have to know how to... He's, my mechanic was like, you should never let someone touch your car. And I'm like, but what am I supposed to do in a parking lot if I need a jump? Don't need a jump. I always rely on the kindness of strangers. Or, yeah, well, yeah, but with your car, though, the, the battery's in a special... It's a special kind of battery. It's set up yeah. differently, so... Mm. Mm. Any German car, any German car, you should pay close attention to how you're doing things like jumping. So now I know I'm glad that he didn't ask for my number because I probably wouldn't have really wanted to talk to him. Well, you could charge him. Give him the bill. He didn't. He didn't ask for my number. Mm. Why did you ask for his? No, I felt like he wanted me. Is to Is that have too it. forward? I think so. I think if he wanted me to have it, he would. Because he said there was this moment where I said, "Can I give you something for it? Thank you." And he was like, "No, Happy Valentine's Day." And I said, "Happy Valentine's Day to you too." And then he just drove off. Oh, he had a woman. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see a wedding ring, but yeah, he probably had a wedding ring. I mean, he had a wedding ring, but even though, I mean, imagine if he messed up your car like that. Imagine what he would have done to your box. <laughs> You are an idiot. Just saying, he's reckless. Well, it's going to cost me quite a bit. It's going to be an expensive jump. Yeah. No, that's going to be... That sounds like a joke. (laughs) So I'm not really in the best of moods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A cute stranger killed my car (laughs) (laughs) on Valentine's. On Valentine's Day. How ironic is that? This Valentine's Day is worse than last year. Last year, I was in a relationship... But I didn't really like my boyfriend. This are, year, are we saying that we're saying that on the on the show? What? That you? Don't, oh, never mind. We said it already. Well, I mean, should we not say that? No. So let's talk about your boyfriend last year. I didn't like him. Okay. Yeah. Not on Valentine's Day. He wasn't very nice. <laughs> I feel like this is like the <laughs> the podcast that they have in the in the the tavern. You know, it's, it's, it feels very depressing right now. This you know? is like I'm at a bar, just like I'm pouring out my. She's about to tell us her story. I'm pouring out my sorrows at a bar today. Is that's just, what happens when people drink alcohol. They get sad. You tell sad stories. No, I'm sad because my car is messed up. I wouldn't even remind mm. it. See, before I was having the, the best Valentine's Day ever because a cute stranger helped me, and I went to the horse ranch. But now it turned into the worst because of the after effects of the jump. So next year we're going to have a good uh, I'm just going to uh, stay in the house See you at least should have got some dick Yeah You should have got you some dick I didn't Don't 
present. Don't try. It could have been just like the jump. He right? messed up your car with no remorse. <laughs> he didn't know he messed it up. But still you're right. Problem. I can't afford. Yeah, I cannot afford to let someone that could be reckless he, have no, the first you, go. You owed. Actually, he he owes you an opportunity to make it right. You called I don't yourself know his fixing name it. even. That's okay though. You never, <laughs> but you've never had a one night stand. I think you said you never had no. one night stand. Uh, well, <laughs> you just roll your eyes because that listen. was a great opportunity. Listen, that was you know, a great he, but he didn't. He 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 just said he had a woman. Like he would have said, guys, if no, trust you, me. no, you said he had a woman because he just said he had. He a woman. certainly had a woman. If I he, agree. If with, he pulled off like that. Yeah, be honest. I, yeah, I, I, he certainly did. I, uh, no. you, you definitely had an opportunity to say not so fast. But what if he had? Okay, this is my this is my problem with doing that. If you if a guy does not approach you and you approach him nine times out of ten this is it this is Atlanta nine times out of ten he has a woman so now I'm encouraging him to cheat he jumped your car he approached she was he in distress offered, no because she did that when, when I wasn't I, really in, I when just, my girl was in distress no you were hawking though you were I was, how you know I was hawking <laughs> what he admitted it didn't he he no. did you, you kind of did you admitted no, it didn't. we didn't know until you admitted it. You, you did kind of say. Know. You did kind of say. It was like premeditated. Yeah, about like you like passed. It. You probably passed by the highway twice. <laughs> like you went down, hit the exit, came back up, hit the exit, we came back down. If she didn't look the way she looked, I never said that. We you kind of never you said. Did, you I cop never to said it. that. You copped to it a little bit on the mic or not? No, you did, you did. no on the, on the show. You said it's something along along those lines. But uh. you guys admitted that men offer to help women that they're attracted to a lot quicker than absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there you we go. Said you've gotten help pretty. Yeah. Like I, I, you I, relied I just, on the universe I just, to send strangers. I just, yeah. I just went out and I was like, it, and they always do. Guys always offer to help, but I've never had one mess up. No, that's the second one. People ask me, I say no. Has to, to jump to what? Like, yeah, people. I, I don't. What like, do they say? Give us an example. I, like I, I thought I told you guys about Walmart that night when that lady had a, a full buggy and she was with her little kid. It was dark. Oh yeah, she asked you for and a ride. She was talking about she had otherwise she had to push the cart home. I'm like, mm. <laughs> so you. Uh, okay, just, first of all, sketchy. That's like the Jesse Smollett thing. It's just sketchy. It's too much going on here. <laughs> you got a full cart of groceries and stuff. And you got your kid with you? So what did you think she was going to do to you? I have no idea. Get me set up or something. Why would you come to Walmart <laughs> at nighttime with your kid? That is weird. And you're gonna and you know you have to push this full and you got Maybe all these she, groceries. I mean, I have See? I have said to myself, I know, not not planned it, but if my car does anything, you just stop and just look around, and guys will stop to help. So maybe <laughs> that's true. Is that what you're telling is your daughter? Is that what it's like to be a woman? Right. You just stop and look around. It's like she had a plan. <laughs> it's like stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I promise you. It's it really is. Like I wish they would. It, it really it is. It does sound like it's a bullet point in some right. cute little pamphlet. Stop, I think we learn it. Look around. Yeah, yeah. And if and if you know, smile. If someone looks at you and you, you know, <laughs> smile. It's that's part three. Mm-mm. I would say no to you too. I was like, this must be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a setup. <laughs> you wouldn't have. This has to be have. a setup. Nah. I, I don't believe it. No, guys like to help. I think men feel comfortable helping. Like, I don't even think it has to do anything with, a, with like, them wanting to. Because I've had older guys, white guys, like, different kind. Like, men just like to be of You're service. you Asians? <laughs> I have. Okay. Yeah. They're very helpful. But we're, we're all human beings. We're earthlings. We, <laughs> what does that mean? We're neighbors. <laughs> We sh- you should be able to help someone. That's do you like to help man unattractive? Man or woman, you should do be you able to attract- help. Do you help unattractive neighbors? Yeah, I help ugly people. Do you really? Yeah. You just said Ugly that- people deserve help. Okay. How many times have you helped a woman with no, that, that had no attractive physical characteristics? Never. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Didn't take that long, did it? No, they? no, uh, seriously. I mean, uh, dozens of times. I mean, everyone that I've helped hasn't been attractive. It's not always something in it for me. What is the ratio? What am I, a capitalist? <laughs> a hotep capitalist. I help you, but I got to charge you interest. <laughs> I, want a little, I, want to, I want the opportunity to possibly Nobody rides for ass. free? Ass, gas, and I, cash? I'll help somebody ugly. I don't care. Will you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ugly people need help. But I'm not... I'm not Helping people to get a date and possibly get them right, a wife. Right, right, right. But what if you were single? Would you be helping unattractive people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're just a good person. Yeah, but I'm not helping somebody at 10 o'clock at night right. with their little yeah. kid at Walmart. Yeah, you yeah, still that, have to. That's weird. 
these street side. This is this is black side kicking in. You you have that that spider <laughs> sense that a spider sense. Something tells you, ah, but something's sa- up. Sadly though, my first my first thought, the reason why I didn't want to do it is because I smelled how they smelled, and I didn't want that in my car. That was the first. That, I remember, I remember that. you saying yeah. that. I do. Yeah. That was my. I mean, that's I, that was, that I was be the real that was situation. My, no, no, yeah. no. It was. It was just sketchy though. Right. That just made me like my antennas go up. I'm like, right. oh hell no. Now I looked at. I'm like, what is it? It's too late for this yeah. situation. So yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, that well. is weird. Especially in the middle of night. How you gonna explain to your wife you with a strange woman? Come home smelling like that. And like, I'm not gonna lie. I had a, a lady. I was leaving. I, went, I was younger and I worked at Barnes and Noble. I was leaving Barnes and Noble. After getting off work, it was raining really hard, and this lady and her two kids said they they needed. Could you please give us a ride? And I was, I was irritated by that. And then I was like, Is she gonna try to, you know, rob me or something? Because it was just weird. She was very aggressive, but I took her home. <laughs> I did. I was. I took. In fact, it was her and her two kids, and maybe like a t- older teenage boy. It was. It was weird. But I took them home. But I'm the whole time. I remember being so uncomfortable, thinking that they were gonna like try to. Stick me up or something. I was like, damn it, I wish I had just kept going. How far are you taking them? A long way? Um, probably about 10, 10, 15 minutes, which felt like an hour. Forever, yeah. yeah, in my car. It was horrible. I don't like when people infringe and try to make you give them something. Like I don't right. like when I'm out like at a gas station or something and a and a person will come up and, and ask and just put you in that. Now I'm uncomfortable and I gotta say no. You to gotta learn friend. to say no. I do, but yeah. I'm just it's irritating because it's like don't put me in that position. Like I don't approach, I just look around. I don't go up to people and like, can you help me? Like I just I just look around. Like a hurt hurt bird? A a deer. <laughs> hurt deer? Yeah, like a fawn. <laughs> like Puss in Boots Did you remember that <laughs> Puss in Boots is like Yeah Yeah no. I just give them the look And they come Not helping <laughs> So anyway That is my story But We we, we gotta talk about The, the Jesse Smollett Because I have to admit Be honest Was 100% right You called it Now I agreed with you But you, you called it From the jump Like you did, you did not cave and I wonder, because I knew, to me, it sounded fishy. The story sounded fishy. But what's amazing to me is how many other people swallow the story without question, even when you look at the, the extremeness of the story. I was talking to one of my girlfriends today, and I said, you really believed it, lock, stock, and barrel? And she said, yeah, I really did. And that, that's scary to me, that nobody questions stuff. I think people are, are trying so hard to be good people. Right. To me, when I see people who are like that, I'm like, what kind of person are you really? If you're willing to go overboard to believe this story, what are you compensating for? What? Being a piece of shit. You know, I'm serious though. Think about that for a second. That story was mm. unbelievable. It was unbelievable. It most was a people, spoof. Most people stop believing it very early. So let me ask you Do this you think then. So? Okay, so I, because I wanted to believe. Did you? You did. Right? That's I did. Your, it's your I whole wanted, tip. I wanted to say, hey, this person is a victim Let's let's give them some space, guys. Right. 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 But okay, so let me ask you this. What was the first thing for you that said, mm, no, nah, this ain't right? The we first thing. It, yeah, but... the first thing was the noose and them and the yelling bleach. and what they yelled. Mm-hmm. I just thought that that, that all those things in together mattered. But the most important thing was the noose. Who the fuck just carries around a noose? And bleach. And says every possible, every possible keyword, word. nigger, faggot, MAGA. Like, what could we possibly think? Okay, what if you were just making an extreme Key and Peel or Wayans brother type spoof of a of a of a racist moment? Right. What ingredients would you need? All those. Every single. The only thing they're missing True. is a KKK a hood, which we'll, we'll substitute that for the MAGA cross. hat. We'll substitute That's that for that the MAGA for. hat, yeah. right? And and a whip. That's the only thing that we could have added to that to make it seem like Birth of a Nation 2019. Well, see, for the first at, at the first when I first heard the story, I heard black person attacked by MAGA, and that was enough for me to say. I want to believe. That's a problem, though. That's, That's emotional things, and 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 I saw some. No, I, I, no, I wanted to believe it because I know that those kinds of things that happen. So at see, mm. at first glance, or at least first listen, it sounded like Kevin. This guy might be telling the truth. When does Again, he? When does he's it a victim. Hold on. This is today's society. This is a victim 
who's saying they've been assaulted and we need to give this person some space. Space means we believe them. We don't question them. And wait a minute. See, like, we can believe them, but we don't believe them, believe them. I mean, we just got to believe them. But that, no, but people, I don't think people are doing that. They're either on or off, right? And everyone is motivated by emotions. But also the fact that you would be out in Chicago. I don't know. I'm familiar with that type of cold. Two o'clock in the morning. I hadn't even put that. A celebrity. I, I just found out they had 24-hour subways. because that. Was I know. We were all like, I'm subway like, closes at 10. I'm like, who goes to the club and then subway? That's, I, that's I haven't a, eaten subway in never a lot of years. Never heard that. I don't like subways. Here, here's the crazy part about it. This is... This is going to suck. People are going to hate this. Ooh. Oh no! But you're the person to do it. All right, I, Deliver it's it. Never yeah. stopped you before. <laughs> this is this is right. <laughs> this is potentially opposite Emmett Till. Oh God! Oh God! I didn't go. I didn't want to go there. It is though. Think about it. Let's say there. they. Let's say they. They instead of those those Nigerian brothers. So Emmett lied on that kind white lady. They have found. They have found some 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 white guys that they have blamed this on, mm-hmm. and people really believe this story. And then somebody the, the crazy Black Lives Matter and Antifa oh. mob. Went down and, 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 you know, saying destroyed their lives and maybe somebody got hurt or killed. Right. The, the potential is there. So because of that and, the, and, be, and because of that, he has to be arrested. Has to be. He has to be charged because if we're going to keep the same energy that we're, like, we're always talking about doing, yeah. he, he had the potential to ruin somebody's life and gave no fucks about he it. He did. He did. I think that we have to start... We have to start taking false... Because we're in such an emotional place as mm-hmm. a country and false even like we talked about rape... You know, when people call, when people say someone raped them, you know, we have to look at the facts. And then if if someone is accused of something and that's not the case, the person who did the false accusing should be held something. just as accountable. Because what happens is, you know, the headlines are all, you know, going after the provocative spin of, of the crime. And then when it doesn't, sometimes that person still loses the headlines are so small when it's reversed that that right. person still loses their livelihood in a certain way. Not to mention the public humiliation they had to endure that's got to be mentally tortured. You know, that's mental torture. So there has to be accountability on both sides. It just, we I, have to. How old is the white lady who who um, told the line Emmett Till? I don't know. I don't know. Dust. She got to she gotta get hers too, though. If, this, if well, She's you know almost dead. You no, know, I'll say like a death cage match or something between her and, uh, oh, and, and Jussie. Oh, I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I just don't understand. Okay. I just don't understand. That was the weirdest reference ever. See, what I'm saying. It, See, it that was never one of the things that sense. tipped me off. <laughs> never made that was sense. that was when I started smelling something fishy. When he said he was the gay, the Tupac. gay Tupac. Oh, the Diane Sawyer then, interview wasn't yeah, enough. And then, yeah, the uh, Diane Sawyer interview was horrible. He's horrible. crying on the screen and shit. And it, it just didn't look believable. Like someone that when you do an interview and they're not looking at you, they're 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 the. They're not answering the question head on. They're looking for ways to go around it. His yeah. response was too perfect, too. It, it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? This happened to him, and he's going to be the bastion for hope and bastion for justice. It, all, all, it, it was like a script. Some people would be scared, terrified for their life after right. a situation like that. Not right. him. Not him. He fights hard. Because he's, he fights gay, back. Gay, gay people have been called soft, and I'm not going to let... I fought back. Mm-hmm. I fought back. Yeah, yeah. that's that, <laughs> that gay-ass Hillary Clinton fight song, Demi Lovato-ass. What? I don't even know what you're talking what about. What are you talking oh, about? God, this, sounds funny. this went weird. Hillary Clinton had... She would play this Demi Lovato song. I think it's called Fight Song. But she would play oh, this during that song. Her, her rallies here. And Demi this Lovato. Is my fight <laughs> yes. song. That's the gayest shit. <laughs> Demi Lovato went down to the <laughs> She went down the blaze of glory, didn't she? Wow. Did you did did you guys I gotta pull this up? Oh my God. You you know that the um her and the Twitter that she deleted her her social media because of her comments about Hillary? No, or Demi, Demi Lovato. Lovato. About yeah. 21 Savage? Yeah, 21 Savage and Literally, what's his name? Uh, Wale just totally obliterated her by, you know, just <laughs> basically t- showed that she had been. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pull it up because it, it was amazing. Because I actually was Demi. I am a Demi Lovato fan. I was surprised. Fan? I was. I, she's I never, got a good voice. I told you she loves the whites. I've never heard Who anybody that? say that. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, Wale refused to apologize <laughs> to. To Demi Lovato, which I don't think I don't think he should. And what? Because so he she was, was actually one, very, um, very respectful in the way he handled it. She was the one who almost killed herself, right? Yes, yeah, Demi was. Lovato was a junkie, right? 
Is she a junkie? I think she struggled with drug abuse in her past. She's a junkie. I, no, no, no. So Demi Lovato, she tweeted, uh, she found the, the memes about um, the 21 Savage, 21 Savage being British, more amusing than anything during Super Bowl. And um, and then Wale came back and said that she was gonna he was gonna pray for her and she was not gonna be disrespectful because when Wale said that it wasn't funny, she said that he had been in her DMs and tried to clown him for that and then he came back and said, you know, twenty one seven had been in her DMs. No, she said Wale had been in her DMs, which I think we kind of glossed over the fact that Wale was trying to holler at Demi Lovato. Mm-hmm. Via- Demi, she's a nice looking girl. Yeah. Wasn't she the one that was like half naked in some bathroom photo shoot stuff too? I don't she know. Was, she, was the, she was the she was doing the natural she was doing the natural thing before Alicia Keys did. Really? I am I, am I lying? I don't mm. know. I don't know. I don't know. I just I know she had some she had suicide. She was in a you know, she's she's gone through some trouble. <laughs> I don't know. She's gone through some trouble. But she deleted her social media after she she attacked 21 Savage and then when Wale came back and said that's not funny, then she got upset and deleted her account. We're just in a really sensitive time. People are just out of control right now. So she deleted her own account. She deleted so her own what, account after what is, she was what trying is to that? clown Teach him. Teach him a lesson. She after she was trying to clown someone else, make fun of someone else. Mm-hmm. Then when someone else turned it on her, she deleted her account. Like unbelievable. Are you looking for her new was, pictures? They're not nude. No, they're not <laughs> nudes, but they were nice. Okay. All right. Anyway. Can't Give find them. Vibe. No, I can't find them. Are they in your Are they in your storage? <laughs> 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 no, no, they're not. I think it was her. Anyway, but regardless, though, yeah, she's a nice looking girl, but mm. 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 I don't know. It's just it's like we pick and choose what we want to make fun of and what we don't. Right? That's normal. I, I think just, it's. I think social media is taking it to another level, though, because when people get emotional, like for instance, with Jesse, when he first came out with the story. I think people felt pressure to put justice for Jesse up on their Instagram. I mean, there were all these Holly, these actors and some of his, you know, the, the, the castmates. But so many people were just putting, before we even knew the full story, you know, putting the justice for, I think people felt pressured to do it more than they really believed in it. We, we, we know you didn't, but not yeah, even I, on I social didn't. media. <laughs> I didn't. So, well, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to be a good person or wanting to be a good I person do. and trying to por- support someone. I don't someone think that's the definition of being, a good, being a good person. That's being a shit. You're being a bad person, actually. You're being a person, <laughs> you're being a person who did no research and you're just, you're just jumping to a, a conclusion. You don't know if it's the right one or the no, wrong one. No, that's the story that we were told. I don't think that people even care about the facts. I think they just want to fit if in with their peers. If you told me that someone hurt you, hey, I, that's I not the same. Yes, but you though. know me. And, yeah, that's and not the same. I have a responsibility to tell you the truth. And there was not Justice a news didn't owe you anything. And bleach. Yeah, but we all have a no. We're all citizens. We're all neighbors. We have a responsibility to about? each other to tell so the are truth. Are you neighbors with Watts as well, Hotep? I'm neighbors with anyone who wants to tell the truth and be a good person. <laughs> he takes on like a Martin Luther King. Esque sounding voice. I just, <laughs> I, I, I. Now, Coretta. There is, there is no way that I could just look at a story that someone tells me and say whatever they say, I'm gonna believe it if I don't know you. I just think it sounded, it, it sounded, it sounded unbelievable. And I think with, with the way, with the way we've realized that people take headlines and pictures on social media before they don't even read the caption, and they like things because of a picture. I was, I sent my girlfriend a a picture of a, a guy and a girl, but the caption is why I sent it to her. And she just said, nice. And I was like, did you read it? And she was like, no, I have a really short IG attention span. And I was like, so why did you say that it was nice? And she looked at the picture. So I think that people, we are, we are doing that more often than not. We're, oh, what happened? Oh, people are posting about Jesse Smollett. Oh, let me post it too. I don't think that people, because I feel like if you really listen to the story, it sounded a little bit extreme. Not a little bit. No, it sounded ridiculous. But see, that's that's the reason why I did not want to see the um, Jasmine um, Island, Eland oh, the, the video. Rape. I didn't yeah. want to see the video because I knew the video would cloud my judgment because I was wow. going to be outraged by what I saw. Right. Because 
everything is a clip. It's, there's never a full video. It's a sound bite. The, yeah. the white kids and the Indian, yeah. Indian guy, they gave you the clip and everybody yeah. was pissed off. And now, now some things are some things are unex you can't explain though. Oh no, no, no. You do realize that they're getting sued, right? No, I understand that. I, I was speaking getting about sued. that. But I meant there are some clips that you can see, like for instance, some of the unfortunately, some of the videos of the police brutality. You see enough in a clip to know that's wrong. Nope, mm -hmm. you don't. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. Because what you don't get to see is you and I, and, and black people hate when you say this, but oh, what Jesus. happened just before the you camera? You can't came? just go back and forth this way, okay? That's not back and forth. You are. That's you not say back black and forth. people like you're not one, and then you call yourself black, and then no, you say white no, no, no. people you're, like you're not you're, one. You're, you're taking you're taking that way too seriously. What I'm saying is is that I want to know just like it's with Jesse. How this, what all of the details are. Mm -hmm. I also want to know what happened right before they started recording. Why did you choose to start the recording? The recording? Right Why did you choose to start start the video right there? You right. know what I'm saying? There had to be some escalation. I don't believe that, except for Tamir Rice, right, which was obviously way out of that. That cops. is that the guy that was in the that was on Facebook. That was a little no, that was kid, twelve year old kid, right? And the cop but there, pulled but there, up on him. But yeah. there also was the guy on Facebook because unfortunately I watched it. I wish I didn't, but he's in the car and he's mm -hmm. not. I mean, he he was in the passenger seat. Who? No, he was in the driver's seat. But Philando? He, uh, no, I can't I can't remember the guy's name, unfortunately. But the the woman is taping it, and he really is reaching in the glove compartment for. That was Philando. He was yeah. a, like yeah. a, 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 a custodian or something. Yeah. So that that if you watch it, there's no way. There's there's nothing he could do. He was not a threat to the officer. He's in the car. Well, no. I see. You can't you can't determine what the the officer felt was a threat. What we see, because of where we're from, we know that no, wasn't see, a threat. I, I, now I, dis, I disagree with you because okay. I think you can, you can use common sense and know that if someone's in a car and they don't have a gun in their, in their hand, mm -hmm. they're reaching into, like, I, to shoot repeatedly into the car is just, there's no way. Right, but, but I don't want to get stuck on well, individual but I just, incidents. But, but, but the thing is, though, the perspective is that you're in a safe home right now where a there's no potential for you to die. Mm -hmm. Being in the middle of a street somewhere when you're trying to tell somebody to do something, mm -hmm. There's a, that's a different scenario. That's all I'm saying. And what I try to do is just always make sure that the perspective that I allow my, my eyes to see mm -hmm. is not one that's clouded by what I think I know so far. And that's why I didn't want to see the Jasmine video. Mm -hmm. And this, then this, this story didn't make sense because I knew that there has to be some other part to this that we're just not getting yet. Right. Well, I, I mean, I think, I think everyone's going to have a perspective, but I don't, and I don't have a problem with that because I think people can disagree. The problem is when you have formed an opinion without getting the facts. It's like, you have no perspective. If you haven't really listened to what happened and really thought about it on your own without just kind of becoming a part of the group think, you know, that's, that's really what it is. It's like a big, social media has caused us all to be in a big cafeteria. Like a, a so it's a, like a virtual yeah, cafeteria and it's group think. So people are not even thinking about things on their own. They're just seeing what the majority is doing. It's like one cow runs and then and then all the other cows run because they have no idea. They're just running because one started running. And I think that is what has happened with the political issues, with social causes. Like we just are all following an emotional trigger. But we don't know what are facts anymore. Right. Uh, and, and depending on how and, and so when Jesse's story first came out All we had was the was the report Some people believed it Some people didn't And we saw him right? And those, those pictures Where he was in the, in, the right. in the hospital bed Looking very much like someone That had been admitted to the hospital Correct right. And as more came out As right. more stuff came out That like I began to be, get suspicious When I found out that the um, he didn't want to turn in his phone to the police as evidence. Right. Um, that was, okay, so why doesn't he want to help them find the people that... And so we begin... But we do this with everything. I don't care what your deepest, darkest personal truth is. Right. You can tell it, and there's somebody out there that's going to say, I believe you, and You're there's right somebody else going to say, man, they full of shit. Right, that's true. But, but really, it doesn't... At, at the end of the day, that facts speak... Louder than anything Because you can have opinions But when you have facts And they have facts obviously We don't know the extent of them But we have the two Two Nigerian guys Are probably not wearing That was very unlikely Why do you hire those guys To do this? Niger I, I don't know, very Nigerian strange. MAGA hat wearers <laughs> Two of them and, and calling you in nigger, the same city, nigger same and faggot, time. nigger and faggot. You, but you know, I think they they found that um, the, the, then the guys they alleged that they rehearsed the entire thing. Yeah, they mm -hmm. did. They did. Like you're doing they were too paid. much. You're doing too much. Yeah. And he bought the rope. Yeah. And something called something beaver. 
<laughs> something beaver, but our crafty beliefs, beaver. Our beliefs shape <laughs> you, what you our, would hold our on reality to that, is. that nugget. <laughs> you would hold on. But I, that's weird because I would think if you were trying to say that it was a hate crime because you're a black and gay, you would not have gotten black brothers who... I don't know if what their sexual orientation is, but I've seen several of their videos. They don't seem like they would be homophobic at all. You know, they seem very Quite friendly. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Just, I mean, I don't know, but I, they just don't seem like the type that would be like, we're going to go stomp out. Like, I would have th- thought that you would hire a white person, at the very least, you know, if you're going to call nigger and faggot. You want you want, and MAGA, you want to, it was a poor casting job. In that conservative space, you know what I mean? Get on over there with those with those lefties. But uh, I, I just, I, I, I hate that because he looks ridiculous right now. He hired a public relations firm <laughs> and a really, a really high-priced lawyer. But obviously he has an issue because that is a very, that's a huge extreme to go to. Mm-hmm. And to go on national TV doing interviews with Diane Sawyer and then performing at concerts, calling himself the Black Tupac and... It no, just, no, not no, the no. black Tupac. No, the, the gay, gay Tupac. I forgot Tupac. the gay Tupac. Okay. What my yeah. question is is are are gay people getting beat up that often? I think that there are a lot. I think that there's a lot more acceptance now. And I hear that there's not, but I don't know where this is. Do you think gay people are getting beat up at a higher rate than regular people are getting beat up? Because regular people get beat up too. <laughs> that is true. Do you? Is it? Women are getting beat up every day. We are being domestically well, abused. See, see, there we go again. I don't think women are getting beat up any more than men are getting beat up. Well, I think people I'm, are getting beat up. I think there's more women than gays, so I'm willing to bet that more Thank women you. are getting no, no, but, beat up. But you're we'll accept the point. that. What I'm saying is, are women getting beat up more than other people? Are gay people getting beat up more than heterosexual people? I don't think so. I think people are just getting their they ass whooped. For, for various reasons, right? For, yeah, for, for like all things, kinds of reasons. Weaker people are getting beat up. No, let me ask, let me ask you a question. That. Let me ask you a question. You don't say that. Let's say you tune in the world star. How often <laughs> do you see a woman or a gay person get beat up compared to how often you see a dude getting put to sleep? <laughs> From female I feel on like, female. I, feel I do like, see dudes get knocked the fuck feel, out. Yeah. Like dudes are getting yeah. beat up far more than gay people are, mm-hmm. and far more than women are. Yeah, men men are more likely to fight. Who is more likely to be a victim of a homicide from a gun? A man, a heterosexual man, a gay man, or a woman? Heterosexual man. You see what I'm saying? Like, are gay people really getting beat up that much? Are women really getting beat up that much? Yeah. Yeah, but you know how hey, <laughs> more and it, at a higher rate. I'm though. just kidding. At women, a are pro- rate. women are probably fighting each other more than anything. Women, women getting beat up is awful. Right. Gay people being beat up is awful. But are you guys not? You're not gay, but a woman, right? So are gay people or women getting? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but are 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 they getting beat up at a higher rate? And that's how do you determine that? I don't know how you determine that. But I also think, like I said, we. We ignore, we pick, we pick and choose what we, what we want to sensationalize. So if two gay people are fighting, which I'm sure happens a lot. Often. Uh, and t- or two women are fighting, that's not going to make the headlines. But right. when a straight person fights a gay person, we automatically, oh, it's a hate crime. Right. It could just be two people that got into an argument. If a guy fights another guy, he probably hates that guy. Yeah, it is a hate crime. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that there's... Is it get- worse if it's because of a certain thing? Is it worse if I kill you because you have on blue and I have it's on red? It's less human. If, if, you, if you fight somebody because they're gay, it's less that's human. less human. Really? But, but yeah. it's, a, it's a better sound bite. It's a juicy. I think that's what bite. I think. I think it's, it's sensational. It feels more mm-hmm. sensational, and that's what we want. We love things that trigger emotions, whether it's good or bad. So if it's if we yeah. see a bunch of kids that are hungry, I want to. And there's like a ten year old, a five year old, and a two year old, and I, I want to pick the two year old because that's going to give me the bigger response. All the kids are hungry. It's all right. sad, but this is really going to connect, right. right? So I think. You know, when they pick the kind of kids that uh, when all types of kids are, are um, victims of the sex trafficking. But when you see the stories, it's very seldom a kid that's not going to draw a response. Right. You know, they, they pick it based on our stories are based on what's going to draw an emotion from us. And that's unfortunate because it places a, a undeserving, I guess, that's, value. That's on what life. our media does, though. It it. It, we milk emotions from people like Not just our media, like venom from a snake. We do. Right. We put that out there and we put it in a jar. Just we like we capture your screams and we feed on them. Is what the fuck we do as a society That's, for real. That was that was good, but that was gruesome. Do you think? It's true. Do you think that there are people? There are men who ride around and beat up women just because they're women. Uh, psychopaths. Okay. Besides those people. <laughs> okay. 
for all the women that are being battered and beaten. No. Do you think there are people who are targeting women just because they're women? No. And see, I would I would be willing to bet that majority of gay people that get beat up mm-hmm. are not being beat up because I they're see your gay. Point. I see they, your point. Something happened. There was an argument. Right. The right. idea here is that what you're the, the 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 image they're trying to give us is that. People are discriminated against gay people just because they're gay. They're getting beat up. They're getting, you know what I'm saying, discriminated. And, and that may be so in some occasions. But, you know what? I okay. had an experience with, I forgot about this. I had an experience, and I, I've got to, I'm going to share this again when we go live. I was in college, and I had an English teacher that was gay. This is before gay rights, but before they could get married, right? Mm-hmm. So this was when I was in school in, in, the, in the late 90s. So... My my professor was gay, and he was fighting for gay rights. So he would give us papers to write, which I think was unethical at this point. He would give us papers to write about gay rights, which now I think he was taking some of our writing and using them in his <laughs> in his fight to try to get the laws passed. But I remember we it was an argumentative class; it was English, and so I wrote against. I chose to write against gay marriage, and he gave he ended up giving me a B in the class, and he was just ve- he said that I was you know. Um, discriminatory and really he had given us an assignment and we could pick which side of the argument to argue. Now, what we learned is that you have to know each side in order to write a, a paper against it. If you right. if you argue against the point, you really have to know that point better. So really, you're writing a better paper if you're arguing a point that you really don't believe because that proves that you're a better writer. So I really didn't have a problem with it, but I wrote a paper and he graded me less than. So I, su- I went to the dean And I presented the case and I said, he keeps the entire semester, all he had us write about and and do things on was gay rights. That's discriminated against the rest of us because he's pushing his views on us. And if we don't agree with him, he he gave me a lower grade. So I ended up winning and I actually got 100 percent in the class, got a a total perfect score because I was able to show that he was bullying. He was bullying me like it goes the opposite way he was sitting up here he would come to class crying and talking about how this was unfair you can't class crying yeah he would do and that that was now if i had said <laughs> if if my family had gotten upset and went to the went to the news that probably wouldn't have made the news because it was right. against, against what was what, what yeah. was the you know the the the, the um what's what's provocative yeah. but the point is like <laughs> It goes both ways, you know what I mean, and they and there is bullying on both sides. That mm-hmm. is a that's a great example of how someone was constantly saying he was being victimized, and we we're just like, what are you talking about? We're not. We just, you know, it's none of your business if I agree with that or not. But for you to make me make a choice and then grade me accordingly, grade me accordingly is 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 discriminatory at that point. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> University of Oklahoma. <laughs> we uh, had a lot going you on. You shout them out. I don't even remember his name. I just remember I went and got my A. I was like, in English B? Are you crazy? Right. Please. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, good. Good for you. You fought the good fight. I will fight. Hey, I will fight the good yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. But but I, but see, I never thought about the fact that I was being discriminated against because I was humble because I was heterosexual. Really, like because I wouldn't agree with so, what he was saying. <laughs> so do you think straight white men are being discriminated against right now? They could be. They may be. <laughs> So there's there's reverse they racism. Be. Kevin's about they to get mad. Oh, they may be. Kevin. He set you up. All I, day. Did. Like, yeah. I did. I did. I didn't see it. That's why I was, was laughing the entire I know, time. I know. I was, was just in my. Laugh? I was in my victory. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, you know. I um, it. So what? Then then what? If 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 that's the case, if you agree, Kevin, that that happens, how then do you jump on Jesse's side in the beginning, knowing what you know? How can you still offer yourself to that? Hey, I've had friends that I was down for 100% and they did something that changed that relationship and so I had to adjust accordingly. That's part of life. Mm -hmm. Like, Jesse saying what he said and leading everyone to believe something, one, the truth is always going to stand. No matter Not what, necessarily. if you if you lay still long enough, the truth know. finds its way. I think it there's does. some lies buried I in believe for years that. have never come out. Yeah, but it does. Not all the time. But it, you only know when it does. does. You only know when it does. You don't know when it doesn't. So that right. so we don't know. Mm. I guarantee you, there's some guys that have are in prison right now for rapes they did not commit. Absolutely. There are people in I prison agree. right now I agree. for for murders they did not commit. And I, and I think that anyone and, and even if it was a a girl who like the girl who said that Chris that uh Chris Brown raped her, 
right? That she happened just before the Jesse situation. It did. It did. Anyone who's making false accusations on someone, especially in in today's climate, yes, I'm keeping that same energy. You need to go. You yeah. need to be held accountable. There has to be accountability for on both sides. the life that you almost ruined. It should be a form of assault. And maybe people will take it more seriously and stop doing it because I think right now, like, I don't know how many. You know, domestic violence. You can see it if you watch cops or there's a show on own that's like female cops. People call the police and there's no for domestic violence and there's not necessarily mm-hmm. the case. Sometimes a woman will call the police when she's the one that hit the man first. Mm-hmm. But but and she knows claims victim. and claims victim. We have to turn this around because that's that should be held, that should be seen as just as much a crime as a man hitting a woman. A woman these- lying about it. These fake, this fake news, these false truths, these like alternate, alternative you agree beliefs. With Forty-five. I mean, this is no. This is the biggest crime that's being committed right now. Is lying. Well, forty-five. It said really the fake is news. the most impactful deed in our society right now because everybody's lying and telling some. Your president, your president would agree with you. <laughs> I'm sure he would. He's doing some of the lying too. He is, but he admit he said that the media was 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 fake news, and in in many ways, I don't know about CNN and we know Fox, but um, it, he's not wrong in some of this. Like we've got to be more. There's got to be more fact checking. What happened is we traded in journalism for blogging, so people are TMZ getting their real news more, from TMZ. Exactly, that's more important to most people than someone said than, to me. You know it's traded, true because it was on TMZ, and 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 TMZ started out as a very sketchy, like the Inquirer, like the Inquirer for celebrities, right? And and not even as 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 credible as an Inquirer, right. like just foolishness. Yeah, it was, just it was a more blog. of a blog, a video blog, or like mm-hmm. a. a it was it blog. was salacious it was salacious rumors and now it's it's entertaining though so if you watch that show I'm, I mean I'm not really a gossip person but I'll that like I'll leave the TV on for the dogs and I'll come home and it'll just be on and um, I'll catch myself you know 20 minutes later still watching it mm-hmm. it's entertaining it they, is the entertaining. way they have it set up where they're mm-hmm. sitting around like the fire Conversation, the right. fireside chat almost mm-hmm. of gossip yeah it, it catches you and it pulls you in and, and you start I don't even know if you believe it as much as you just in, you're engaged. Well, a lot of it is they they have they have very uh, good ways of being able to get information. Of course, it's not difficult now with everybody's phone being a portal to, you know, lifestyle. But I think that a lot of it they have become over the years they've gone from salacious rumors to have an actual. They have the first the court documents first. Um, you guys hear about this new the R Kelly tape that now is is out. The third one. The third. The- so see, okay, so see now here the second one. I was questioning it again, right? Because they said that in the in the video, the girl actually says, "Come get this fourteen year old pussy," and that sounds unbelievable. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, right. who the fuck would say right. as a fourteen year old is that what's going to come out of your mouth? Told you, no. That's Unless weird, told right? You to say that. So right. I was so the second when they, when they when the second yeah, tape surfaced, I, I was like, okay, Jussie Smollett, <laughs> here we go again, same old shit. This like. I what I see is R. Kelly saying, "Oh, you know what? I'm in deep shit. Let me figure out a way to distract him. So I'm gonna put out this tape to make people get outraged. Then they're gonna learn she's really a 19 year old girl. She was just saying that because we were it's role playing. Be like, I'm, and it'll. Uh, yeah. I think that's too smart. I do. I agree. I think that's too Which smart part? for R. Kelly. I no, this is the same guy when he was asked, "Do you like? Do you have <laughs> sex with underage girls?" He said. He how? said no. How are we talking? He said how? He said he said teenage girls. <laughs> okay. He said how old? No, but That's, okay. So what's more likely? Come up with that. What's Andy, more likely? Andy said it was his brother. <laughs> and in the tape, <laughs> they're saying his name. He said it was his brother in the tape. It with a straight face. A straight pain look in his eye Like I'm lying But I'm mm-hmm. trying to say this right well, now Well there's a third tape now anyway So if, yeah. if that's the case Maybe the second tape is real too that the grand seemed, jury That seems sensational yeah, that, the I, Come ju- get this 14 year old pussy Grand jury has the tapes And um, they come back with an indictment it, I don't believe it still yet so I'm sorry I'm sorry it, grand, I would be shocked Just because it's been so long And he's got away with it The grand jury didn't say they have tapes there, uh, well, this is just online, TMZ. Exactly. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I don't believe yeah. it yet. I let me. He's been out here for how many years doing this? Twenty plus years. I mean, after the after it, post the, the first trial, mm-hmm. right? So come on. Where, where does R. Gra- R. Kelly about to do an overseas tour? When is Jesus grand jury going to say they have some tapes? Let me hear them say it. We want all of them to say it. Some I want the, the official <laughs> members body, of the grand jury. The governing body needs to say it, not TMZ, because I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. I, I still, hope. I hope so. Because I think it'll, but I think there's so many different, I mean, it just opens a, a can of worms um, because we do have really 
skewed ideas of of age of ageism and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate because he did a lot of things that were that were that felt immoral but weren't necessarily illegal right, right? so um, now I don't know if you guys saw this Netflix documentary called Ab- uh, Abducted in Plain Sight Mm-mm. but if I, you have not seen it, watch it you need to watch it it is the most amazing thing I have seen it's just Jesse Smollett but it's true it's like that can't possibly be true, but it's true. It's all documented. A family, I don't even know if I can explain it quickly, but a family is a mother, father, and I think three girls or two girls and a guy and a boy. A, a, a family moves in across the street, wife, husband, kids, everybody c- connects. So say there's someone for your wife, a husband, the husbands connect and, and have a, a relationship. The wives are friends. One-to-one ratio, basically. And, right, right, with okay. everybody. But... The husband that moved in, the new neighbor husband, really likes the daughter that is like 12, right? Mm -hmm. He just, you know, and it could be like, you know, I'm sure you've met other couples and it's like that kid may have this, like do the same thing that you did when you were little. And so you just like, you know, go... I, I could see that. Maybe maybe somebody <laughs> nope, saying, you know what? I don't see that. The girl was into horses. He took her horseback riding because maybe maybe he did that when he was younger. The lovely bones. The yeah, yeah. But anyway, he's he ends up being obsessed with the daughter. The family, you guys have to watch this. It is it is the most amazing thing. The man ends up Are you gonna spoil it? I don't want to spoil it, but it just is so unbelievable. And the spoilers <laughs> are all over social media. Basically, oh, I seen it yet. Go ahead, the bro. the the perpetrator he's obsessed with the daughter in a weird way he ends up like getting in her head and kind of having mind control over which is not hard to do with a 12 year old but he also has a weird hold on the mother and the father so by the end of the vid- by the end of this thing just know the man has had a sexual relationship with the dad the mom and the daughter and it is allowed to happen over a period of time. So he abducts the daughter, which is called abduction in plain sight. He kidnaps her. He keeps her for four months, but he's had a sexual relationship with the dad and the mom. So when he when they find him and bring him back, he convinces them to drop the charges because he's going to out the fact that the dad is gay. That's crafty. And then they drop the charges and he kidnaps her again. That's now that, you know, people- It's keep, unbelievable. People have been throwing that evil genius label out. That's an evil yeah. genius. That is an evil genius. I've never seen anything. And then he convinces some guys in jail. So he finally goes to jail. <laughs> he finally goes to jail after abducting her twice, right? It, it's a long so, so story. Properish. It is. And then he convinces some guys in jail to actually go and burn down the dad's business. Like he literally pulls it off in jail the family business is burned to the ground. The, okay. the dad is like a pharmacist. No, the dad owns a, f- a flower store. He burnt, they, these two criminals <laughs> meet him in jail. He convinces that he's just a mental what if manipulator. This is, what, if, what if this is all fake? It's not fake. It's documented. This is from years remember, ago. You remember when Blair Witch came out? They had like all this backstory no, and stuff. Like, like, I promise you. Open the Virginia there, 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 The prosecutors are speaking and everything. The, fun, the, the weirdest thing to me, so the husband and wife are still married, but the husband <laughs> says not. that he goes out with the guy. They're talking. They're, you know, the wives go out and the guy tells him, me and my wife aren't having sex. And he asks him, well, can he give him some relief? And so he's like, I did it. I'm so ashamed. And he starts crying. He he gave the guy a hand job. And I'm wondering, like, that is amazing. That um and then the wife doesn't question his sexuality. And they're still married. So he he doesn't believe. All he gave that he's was a hand job, or that was that was it between well, them? No, or? he's I guess he didn't say he did anything else, but he said that's how it started. But he was ashamed. I mean, he breaks down, he's ashamed. and and it is the weirdest thing. Yeah, white women aren't like black women. They're not homophobic like you guys are. <sighs> Well, it's not like white men aren't either. No, I'm, we're talking about the women, though. How are you going to throw that back? <laughs> but that's, that's a very Isn't weird story. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's a weird story. And he's yeah, I'm probably not going to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very odd story. I don't even know. People have been talking about it. On, like, just Google the name and you'll see, like, that it's just like, what? How do you sleep with a mom and a dad and, and the their, daughter? Their teenage daughter. Mm. Preteen at that, at that point. Oh, yeah, right. That's odd. Well, wow. he, you know, he he convinced the daughter. Stranger just one more than thing. fiction. He f- convinced the daughter <laughs> that she was an alien, and he was an alien, and they had to come together and have a baby to complete a mission so the Earth was saved. Mm. It's 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 a game. It's amazing. That is game. He he is better than the Fire Island guy. 
<laughs> Netflix is on fire right now. I'm telling you, like, I, I own stock in Netflix. I think you all should. Thanks for thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you're doing very well because I'm that Netflix is on fire. That's amazing. Mm. Uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, what the hell I'm supposed to do with that now? Mm. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I, I guess follow that up. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Did everybody believe in it? it I, I know it, there's definitely. You know what? Actually, there we go. Do you believe in crazy people out there? Mm-hmm. There's really? always some more than we know because this society. I mean, everything that's going on. There's it's it's not the people we know. It's those crazies out there. No, I think I think more people are crazy than we realize. I think if if everybody in the in the in the United States right now had to get a psychological evaluation. <laughs> the number of sociopaths that there would be would be probably alarming. Like, again, another Netflix show. There's a guy that seems very normal, but he's really a sociopath. But I have a friend that's a judge, and she said that a lot of times kids come in, they're in trouble, and she says she really, they're undiagnosed, mentally challenged kids. You know, not like depressed, but like sociopathic or psychopathic and, and, and just undiagnosed. And usually... and. A family is a, a, a parent. A lot of times, mothers especially or fathers, you you notice something is different with your kid, but you really don't want to acknowledge it, right? So you just keep keep going, knowing like, eh, it's a little. He did kill squirrels when he was little. <laughs> like, I think I think a lot more people have mental issues than than we realize. A lot of our veterans have PTSD. Um, oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Even ones that didn't serve combat time. Yeah. Still, there's something about the military yeah. that just breaks. It's a lot of bad things. I mean, mental, I think mental health is probably like the number one issue we deal with at this point. It's only going to get worse. I mean, dark things are, are going to happen in, in people's lives, unfortunately. And there's no, I don't, I don't know if there's no, no one teaches you how to grieve no one teaches you how to deal with seeing somebody's head get blown off. And you can say you know on, I mean? on, on on so on IG. <laughs> you know, you could see, mm-hmm. you know, stuff that you that you really I don't think Nobody teaches you how to lose someone close to you. No, but there's something else. And even like even like the fact that nars people have become so narcissistic because of social media and because everything is so Filtered and photoshopped and perfection and people are living in false senses of reality and not really having real connections. I think it's all led right. us to a place where there's a lot more mental health um, issues because you don't, you're not actually connecting with other people. So if you're going through something, a lot of times people are keeping that inside and trying to put on a very fake front for you know. And how about this? How about how about the people who? Like Kevin started out their journey in this Jesse Smollett thing, <laughs> believing him, and then had to reconcile the idea that I got tricked. Yeah, that's 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 kind of traumatic. Mm-hmm. If you if you know what I'm saying, if you or, if you because like say you had went hard on social media supporting him, calling people names and singling people out who were you know were, were detesters or whatever. Right, you walked all the way down this road and come to find out that you're the one who didn't know what you were talking about. Now but I'm you've made all these yeah, but you've like said these really 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 crazy things to right. people, blaming them of, the, you know what I'm saying, calling, mm-hmm. calling their job, trying Everyone's, to get fired. You're homophobic if you don't believe Jesse Smollett. Yeah. And then you have to reconcile the fact that, wait a minute, you were, I was wrong. That's traumatic. Mm-hmm. That's traumatic. Who, who, who teaches um, you how to deal with that? Uh, imagine, imagine believing in Christianity. Oh, God. And finding out one day or, or deciding one day that you found some information and, oh, my God. Now my reality is different. Religion yeah. is one of those That's things everybody. that people yeah. use to define themselves. It's it part is. of your identity. Right. Jesse Smollett, eh, maybe you weren't so attached. No, I don't to that, think. Right? I think that I think you might have been embarrassed people, because he was gay. I think if you were gay and you felt that way, I think people find their identity in strange and and in different things that really don't that are really not supposed to define us. So I think because a lot of people are dealing with insecurity, you find your Define yourself according to a group that you feel like you fit in. So mm-hmm. I think a lot of people that were gay were, you know, just passionately behind him and angry, angry about the situation. Just like when we see the police, you know, killings, a lot of us get very angry and and passionate about that. And I think that because we're we're just we're just going off emotion as a as a as a culture right now. Like there's no mm-hmm. 
fact, we're just emotionally driven. Even the, the presidential race, it was just people were saying such hateful things on both sides. It's like, I don't agree with Trump, but I don't want to see his head blown off. Like, I mean, we're just... It, we're at a place where people are extra sensitive, but they're also extra insensitive. We're both, which is is imbalanced. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we will, people get so angry, like hyper people sensitive, hyper and sensitive, hyper reactive. Exactly, like abortion. If you don't agree with abortion, that's fine. But why would you go down to an abortion clinic and try to kill someone else? Like you're you're saying I don't agree with murder, so yeah. I'm gonna. You know, I'm going to commit murder. That is that is irrational. That is that is crazy. I I, I totally understand. I had I had a friend who um, is very biblical, mm-hmm. and he would do things like he would go help the homeless mm-hmm. or st- or you know and preach to people and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And he would say, "This is what God told me to do." I said, "Dude, God didn't tell you to do that. Show me where God told you to do that." Show me where God said, you person, you do this, right? And ultimately where we got to was, yes, the Bible says do good things, be a good person. Be a but it doesn't say, it doesn't say go grab Larry the homeless guy and and buy him a sandwich. We interpret that and act on our own. Where are you going with that? Beliefs. But I it's, mean, but that's not bad though. I mean, I think the I think the it Bible can does be say, if, if I believe if I believe that I'm supposed to fulfill some prophecy. That's what that and, church and, does. And and burn the earth of or cleanse the earth of all the gay people that's or what that some church, shit like they that. Showed, they showed the weddings and yeah, and, but that's yeah. very different. Those that's, people, helping, the homeless, helping the homeless is very different than. Than cleansing the world. I think he's of those people think the- they're God's hall monitors, and they <laughs> are like seriously, they're yeah. going around harassing people in yeah. the name of good deeds, which is which is crazy because I I think it's a form of mental of mental disorder because you're doing you're committing the same crime that you're supposedly trying to punish. You end up doing the same exact mm-hmm. thing. You're becoming one of them. You have. You've become yeah. what you hate. I saw a video the other day. There was a lesbian woman who got ostracized from whatever group she's part of mm-hmm. by the the trans members of the group because oh. she said that <laughs> men and women are that's two different things and you can't be. So then they bullied her. And the crazy part about it, she made a, a point. She's like the LGB don't really have shit to do with the rest of the letters. <laughs> oh my god. Think about it though. Mm-hmm. LGB is about sexual Let, preference. It is. The rest oh, of that shit wow. is about you know, identity. Identity. She's wow, like, how? That's true. She's like, how did we get hijacked by people who don't know what their gender wow, is? That's true. We're just gay. We like the same sex. We have sex with people with the same right, sex. Right. But we don't have gender. We don't. We're not claiming. To I'm be a, a different, woman right. still, even though I'm a lesbian. Because there are a lot of gay men. I've heard they say, "I'm I'm a man." I'm well, not they put trying. her ass out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lesbian got put out of the lesbian it's group. Just, I, I, you never can tell. You just don't know what's happening right now. We're in a weird place. We're in a weird time. We don't know what's going down. What do you do with that? I, I feel like I feel like the LGBTQ community is going to turn on Jesse Smollett with a vengeance. They're gonna have to. They have to they have to because because how far he went with it. Yeah. But you know, was he doing it for them or was it personal? And that's what that's I think what it probably was. I think it had to be personal for him to go that far. Yeah, it yeah. Had he had personal. a lot of ego in it. He started sticking his chest out. That's what's the gonna whole matter. gay Tupac thing. Like I love that the internet <laughs> is skewering him with the memes, yo. Like, that's what's hilarious. gonna matter. That's what's gonna matter is when, if they if they can determine whether or not he was doing it for the quote unquote. Well, you cause can't be doing it him. for the cause if you do it that way. I, I love it though. That's to Do me. You, that's yeah because it's, it's this no is longer, a real life version of Empire because Empire yeah. storylines were that extreme. Then he get thrown in the trash. In yeah, Empire? The, the dad <laughs> threw the gay son in the trash, and I'm like, where would that ever happen? Like, wow. I could see a straight guy that was homophobic pushing his gay son, maybe even hitting him in the chest, maybe not talking to him, maybe not interacting or saying he's not my son. I don't know if I can see him putting him in a trash. I actually believe that more than I believe that gay people get beat up all the time for being I, gay. I do. I do. Agree. I think there's some dads who are just like, you know, fuck this bullshit. You're going to be a man. Though? You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. We've we all dealt Toughen with... Toughen up. Yeah. But p- to put him in the trash. Yes, I, I can see that. I actually I, I actually can see that. Okay. I actually mm-hmm. can see that, but more so than I see gay people just getting beat up all the time for right. being gay. But, and nooses um, and bleach. That's what it comes down to is so if he can prove, I think bleach. Jesse has some redemption story here. Okay. But only if he can prove. He that, lied for the greater cause, the he, greater good. Well, not necessarily f- lied for the greater good, but it was, it was, 
when he started the idea, it was right. bor- it was born out of I need to bring awareness to my group, as opposed to I need to make myself look good in this situation. If he can prove that, I don't know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Know. But it looked like he was really on his own. Yeah, he was, it looks pretty stupid. Yeah. Like he was into I don't his know own, that he can he bounce was in his back own bag. I don't think so. I don't know. One of my friends is a publicist. She disagreed with me. She said that she believes that anybody can bounce back now from anything. And we are in a very short, we have a short attention span. Well, I guess so if you could can be, grab pussies and become president. Or if you, you can know. make a, 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 coon, a coon sweater and come back. Yeah, I think, you know. Who made a coon sweater? Gucci or whatever. The, the, um, oh, yeah, that's privilege. Yeah. That's, that's years and years of privilege. That's yeah, a no, whole but different that's, thing. But you see Burberry did one with a, a, noose, with a noose A on noose it. sweatshirt. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, that's all part a of it. hoodie with a noose. That's all part of their, their agenda. Mm-hmm. Too. See, that's how I like my racism. Right up front. No, but it's not the point. It's not the point. The point is that it's front and center. So that you're outraged and then we now we're saying Gucci, we're saying what was was Burberry? Burberry. Now we're saying Burberry. You know what I'm saying? So gay agenda, Jesse story. I'm gonna start calling it the Jesse story. We talk about that in Slack. It's, it sounds like it's no longer the gay agenda. It's now Jesse story. It's, that does sound like a lifetime special. <laughs> it does. It does. The Jesse Smollett story. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it. I wouldn't even get the chance to talk about All Star and the amazing J. Cole performance and the oh. fact that you mentioned yeah. in our group that the NBA gets it and did a great job and the NFL failed miserably. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. whatever's going on at the NBA in the NBA front office right, is working for everybody. Activism, they're allowing their, their players to, to be active in mm-hmm. social problems and issues. Mm-hmm. They're, they're hiring the right people to do the right jobs. Right. Teams look diverse. There are black coaches, black front office people. They're, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever is going on, they're, they're kind of just getting it. Whereas right. the NFL just keeps failing. <laughs> almost like they don't care. It's almost I don't like think they do. They, they're dueling on purpose now, spiteful. Yeah. Like, I don't think they do care because the response all the way up until Super Bowl was very non... They did not really engage with the issue. Like, when the, the outcry went out about... I mean, first of all, the, the kneeling and the comments made by... You know Jerry Jones. Some of the pe- like it. They don't care. They, is it like a yeah. good old boy mentality? And we're this we're we're as American as apple pie, and we're not changing. And I think even up to when the the announcement was made for Super Bowl, the the and all the artists turned down opportunities to perform. Right. They they just pushed forward. Yeah. They did mm-hmm. not unbothered. unbothered. But what's crazy is J Cole probably would be considered one of the more boring yeah acts. Yeah. However, in North Carolina, mm-hmm. well, home, yeah. Obviously, it's his home. He, he, yeah. It's his home. They they got him to do it, and he's a, he's by on himself, high street right now. He's by he's, himself. Yeah, he just released the album. He's he's. It, it was perfect timing, the perfect storm. And I I saw him for New Year's in Vegas. Nothing like that. Like he definitely. It was, and I, I, it, was it was boring. I enjoyed the show, but I because of the music, it, the show was not. He exciting. had his band on, uh, on the stage. Mm-hmm. He was way across the court. Yeah. in like a little satellite stage where he started. Then he moved. Then he, yeah. To, so the the fans are all around him. So he's like engaging. It's a, it's a, it's a, he, they're a part of the performance. Yeah. It's like yeah, it was. It and was dope. It, it looked electric. It looked electric. Yeah. And they picked him because it was a hometown. Perfect. Mm-hmm. He and I say he just happened to have an album that's doing very, very well. This just all the all the right stars aligned, and you know I heard people. It's funny because when you mentioned it in our group, then someone had immediately sent the performance to me, and people had only positive. I mean, it just it just was the perfect storm for politically <laughs> right after mm-hmm. the NFL failed it, and, and people were talking about you know the Adam Levine and the, the it just was horrible. And then they allowed him to do a, a political thing too because right. he's he, uh, he, is he dedicated political. the song to Twenty One Savage yeah. or whatever. The, yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? So like all the little points were NBA hit. gets it some yeah. kind of way. And I told you my wife uh, was at a network event with. Um, the diversity director mm, for, the for the NBA, NBA. and yeah. it's a black lady. Yeah, she's got an African name. I don't know if she's. Well, African, if you're a but- diversity uh, worker, you know, a VP or a, you, you need to understand diversity at the very at the you, very least. Do you think the NFL's diversity <laughs> leader is is? It's, it's probably not a diverse person, <laughs> at least from their response, because there were so many opportunities for the NFL to not do as well as the in, in, as the NBA. I'm not even asking that. They they were they get an A. They get a gold star. NBA? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the NBA gets a gold mm-hmm. star. But there were opportunities along this way for the NFL to at least try to lessen the the blow, but they refused. You right. know what I mean? They they spitefully. They, just right. Like, yeah. It just it just it was it was more than apparent that they really don't care about the players. And the you know and the majority of their players are African American. They don't care, and they didn't care about the the way that it was affecting the it was splitting the the fans. I mean, they just 
You got to respect the fact that they were like, this is our brand. No, I don't respect that. I, you have to pay attention to what's going on outside your No, I, I agree. I agree. But I'm just saying, you know, few brands are that, um, I guess, st- internally strong to feel like we don't have to address the fact that it's painfully apparent that we're wrong. I almost hope the NFL fails. And I know that's a lot of jobs... No, I don't think but it's wrong at all because it, it, fo- it, fo- it was forced them to change things. If there's a huge, you know, if, if finances go off, then they'll make a change. They I, won't have a choice. I think the NFL as a whole has failed and because there's no way that... I, I think they've what they've done is they, they've failed because they have not only failed to acknowledge the situation and to reconcile with it in a... Um, harmonious way but they're also leaving the door open for um competition and i'm sure that there's an an entrepreneur out there someone else is going to come just like uh, ice cube did with big three there's going to be someone who will start another yeah you know what american network that we we have an atlanta team the atlanta um aaf the American Alliance of Football. You didn't know that? Mm, I didn't we know have that. A, we have another. Well, we, they're playing right now. I know arena enough, football. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is pads and Trent mm. Richardson is playing for them right now. Like these, these are real games with pads. Where are, they and, at? Where are those games at? Um, well, there's Memphis. Birmingham has a team. Memphis has a team. Atlanta. I don't know. It's supposed to be smaller markets that don't have pro teams. They're supposed mm. to have teams. Atlanta's the but only Atlanta team has that one has too. one. Hmm. I don't get it. It's, mm. it's happening. They're, they're eight games. It's an eight game season right now. They're playing right now every Sunday at four thirty on CBS. Or if there's a if there's something else on it, be CBS Sports Network. But wow. okay, I had to check that out. They're not awful games. I was talking to um, King Kunta from one of the other shows on the network. He's like, "Well, you didn't say they were good games. They're not good games. They're not great games, but they're not awful games." <sighs> what does that mean? I'm saying that these are still uh, competitive, high high, dra- high 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 talent college people mm-hmm. who came to the NFL and maybe got cut for whatever reason, right? Or you know, they're still ha- able to have. They're a still eighty one percent of them have played in the NFL. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of to me. It feels like kind of like the NFL G League, how the NBA has a G yeah. League or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like the NFL G League. But Kaepernick turned down a job. Did you hear about that? Mm-hmm. That's the league they were talking about. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, yeah, got you. Hmm. No, no, no. I mean, I think it's and worth he got a look. the settlement. Kaepernick won, and and Kaepernick won, and by getting that settlement, it. The NFL basically said, okay, we did something wrong. Even even though I know that it's just a settlement and they just probably didn't want to deal with the, the smoke, at the end of the day, at, when that's looked back on, yeah. something happened. Well, yeah, I, I, I think, think if they, they took it to court, it would have been way more embarrassing. It would have, but they also knew they were wrong. I think it was obvious because they they held out and they and they and their actions showed they were unapologetic. That was that would not have been given if they didn't have, if, if he didn't have a strong case against them. I don't believe they would have. But said now that. does he still stand and kneel and all that stuff? Now that he's got that stuff, that's what we have to wait and see. I don't I don't know that he has to do that. I think he gave up. I think he sacrificed a huge amount, and I think that. He made he he impacted the culture in a way that allowed people to become aware, and I don't think that he's I think that he can do whatever he wants to do. I don't think that if that people should hold him because it's funny. Mm-hmm. A lot of the people are like, "What is Kaepernick going to do?" You've been watching NFL the whole time. You're just the talking, time, like yeah. you know, you're just talking. So I don't I don't think that he has. He made a huge sacrifice. Very few people would turn down, you know, or make a stand that would affect their money. So I right. think he he. He de- he deserves to do whatever he feels comfortable with. That has nothing to do with the rest of us. And I think we have to figure out, you know, where we fit. And hopefully the NFL will continue to, people will continue to hold them accountable to the fact that they'll have to break. Because eventually money drives everything. So if if they if their pockets are hit, they'll they'll have to they'll have to change. But you know what? And I've I've heard more about this, uh, that conversation, because I as much as you say money drives everything, mm-hmm. I think that what we're seeing in society is that integrity is pushing a lot of these doors that were form- that used to be closed or making yeah. a lot of things happen that didn't happen before. This, I think this is the first time that we've yeah. seen in Kaepernick that we've seen someone with integrity right. and dignity That's very rare. win. That's true. I agree with you. Like it's as rare as the Black Panther who just reemerged. I think the timing is a little Wakanda. peculiar. <laughs> Way to end the show. Way to get a show to, to, to wrap up when you start talking about that. Hey. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we, what a we, time we, to be alive. What a time. I, I, I hope that we can get people to do more um, engagement. Like these are obviously very emotional 
um, topics. We would love for you guys to share with us your opinion, um, especially if you have an opinion that you feel strongly about. You know, definitely share. We'd love to read your your comment on uh, the next week's show. Absolutely. Yeah. Even the guy that left some mean comments on the YouTube. It's okay. I'm good. I with will. The, we're good with the smoke. <laughs> I, Bring I, the smoke. I thoroughly enjoyed it. His comment. He, he was partially right. Oh, which part? The you, you are a little annoying. Oh, the oh annoying. you said, are a little annoying. He said B was annoying. He said I was annoying, and he called me a bitch. Oh, well, you're, <laughs> you're used to that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just thought it was funny because I I think that people get triggered so easily, and I bet in his mind he probably was like, I know what I'll do. I'll say he's a bitch, and he's gonna get furious, and we're gonna go back and no, that, that's that's hilarious to me. That is the funny part that people use words, that, and when the words don't work, and it's like. <laughs> Curse. <laughs> what are you? Uh, not, appreciate not, like nothing happened. <laughs> appreciate the comments. Uh, a B A F, whatever it is, whatever you were. A B, I think it was. Appreciate Feel free the comments. To leave more. It's yeah, okay. yeah. Make it a habit. We love it. <laughs> See you guys next week. Thanks. Music love life.